Hi, I'm Colleen Jones. Watch us next on TSN. After a couple of days of snow, that's passed. It's warming up, in fact, here in Winnipeg on this opening day of the Ford Worlds on TSN. Norway? No, in the curling world, it's Nordby. Dorty Nordby. In a 15th appearance, a record time 15th appearance, a two time world champion when she burst onto the scene back to back in 1990 and 91. In fact, her last world championship was right here in Winnipeg in 1991. Nordby? Yeah, she is Norway. Next, Nord B will face Colleen Jones in Canada here in draw two of women's play at the Ford Worlds. <laughs> Hello, Canada, and welcome back to our uh, continuing coverage opening day of these Ford Worlds. I've not, you know, I don't sit in this chair very often. Uh, Linda's got the evening off, and it feels like you and I, we've got the keys to the car, we can do anything we want. Mum's at home and watching, so we, we're gonna have some fun. This is not a date, Victor. No, right? no, we, no we, <laughs> Okay, we won't, let's establish that we, right we, now. We won't okay. say that. <laughs> Canada against Norway, uh, if you're looking ahead, if you're Colleen Jones, this is a game you've got to be looking forward to. Oh, I think so. I mean, Dorothy Nordby, the last time in this building, won the World Championship. And uh, Colleen look, looks so good the last two or three years. I think she wants Dorothy. It'll be interesting to see how Dorothy reacts. I think Dorothy will put a lot of rocks in play and well, force her. That's the thing about Dorothy Nordby. She won back-to-back -back championships in 1991, as you mentioned, here at the arena. But we're not quite sure of the Dorothy that's going to show up. Yeah, the, the last uh, oh, five or six years, she's here every year. I can't remember how many there are. But uh, the, she really has been inconsistent. Yeah. And she always looks for that uh, spectacular shot, which has cost her over the years. I think she'll be a little more serious this year and be a little more careful about how she plays. She will play aggressively, right. but she wants it badly. She won it here. She'd love to win it again. And don't forget, Colleen Jones has something to prove as well. She's a five-time Canadian champ, but only one world championship. And last year, she didn't even medal in Bismarck. So she has something to prove as well. It's Canada against Norway, second draw of women's play from here. It's not a date? No, no. At the Ford Worlds in Winnipeg. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships from Winnipeg, Manitoba are brought to you by Karcher. You'll look for things to clean. By Nokia. Official wireless phone of the season of champions. And by Ford, built for life in Canada. And on this Saturday night, we welcome you inside the Winnipeg Arena opening day of TSN's coverage of the Ford Worlds. And our featured game is right in the middle of all the action. Sheet C, the five in play. Here are all the games on the ice. And it's Japan and Shinobu Ayota going against Italy and Diana Gaspari. Switzerland, the team from Bern against Edith Loudon from Perth. Mentioned our game, Nordby and Jones on sheet C. Annette Norberg from Sweden will play Denmark and Dorte Holm. And on the outside sheet, the final game, the United States and Debbie McCormick from Madison, Wisconsin goes against Russia and Olga Yarkova from the Moskvich Curling Club in Moscow. Colleen Jones coming off a win this morning in her opening game against the Russians. Let's find out what the ice will do. They're playing on that center sheet. Let's read the ice now with Ray. It's brought to you by Ford, built for life in Canada. Well, it's a wonderful surface, Vic, and it's got lots of curl around the center guard, about four feet. It may go a little more, but it changes through the game. Around the corner guard from the inside out, once again, about four feet. You can get to the 12-foot without any problem. And we're seeing a lot of movement from the outside, outside in around the corner guard, about four feet as well. It will run very, very straight. We know with weight, especially on the four-foot line. We saw some changes today. We saw absolutely no frost build up. The temperature inside did change a bit today. The late, the curl is late and breaks big time. We'll keep an eye on it because it will change. Well, Dorney Nordby's first appearance at the Worlds was way back in 1982 when she was playing for Trina Trulson. 
seven wins, 13 losses, lifetime against Canada, but she's won the last two in a row, including last year when she beat Colleen Jones in round robin and beat her again for the bronze medal. As it's time to meet the two teams, let's meet the Norwegian champions. Their lead is Camilla Holt, Marianne Haslam, Hannah Woods, and their skip, Doherty Nordby, from the Snarnen Curling Club. And the Canadian champions, Nancy Delahut, Marianne Way, Kim Kelly, Colleen Jones from the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax. Now in the opening game this morning, the teams flipped for the last rock, but now with uh, eight games to go, an even number, it'll be always red stones with the hammer, and so Norway and Dorby will have the hammer playing the red, Colleen Jones playing the yellow. It's right in there. Yeah, for sure. Would you be looking forward to this if you're Colleen? Oh, I think so, Vic. I think Colleen is... This team uh, of the last three years is really a different team altogether. Colleen, of course, just got better and better and better as she, as she played, and, and this is a great unit. And to get us going, the Canadian lead is Nancy Delahunt. Might need it. Yeah, I wouldn't expect uh, Colleen to do anything but put this in the Whoa. rings just the way she plays. There's a couple of things I like to say about the team, and uh, it's just been amazing to me. First of all, I think over the years, I've been a little tough on sometimes on this team, on Colleen, in particular about her style of play. She plays very differently, and I think I've been you know, probably a little tough at times on her. I mean, the result, her results of late have been f fantastic. But, you know, never once a negative word from her, always a positive word, so I really admire that about, about her in particular and the entire team. And the other thing, and I mean this in all sincerity, Victor, I don't think there's another curler, male or female, in the world that has Whoa. the ability to be able to put things behind them, whether it be one shot, one end, one game, one series. Colleen has done a lot of training with her sports psychologist, and she just is absolutely a different person out there. I, you know what? I don't disagree. And, and Ken Bagnell is the gentleman yeah, Ken that is a great uh, person. she's been working with for a number of years. You'll see him come down. He's listed as the coach. He doesn't coach. Nope. He doesn't know the game. Yep. He, uh, he certainly has picked up a lot, but what he does work with is exactly that, parking the negative thoughts. Yeah, it's just amazing how she can do that. Let's go back, you know, to the to, to final game where if anybody had a right, she's got a 5 nothing lead against Kathy Cunningham, and all of a sudden that lead disappears, and she'd missed three out of her last four shots, and she's in the eighth end. They got one top four foot, one back four foot, one on the side, and Colleen has to drop it in the hole. Mm -hmm. And if any, if there's ever a chance, you know, a time you're going to miss one, it's right then. But no, sir, she refocuses, she makes that shot, she goes on to win. <laughs> time to check the ice times. They're brought to you by Karcher. You'll look for things to clean and... Will we expect this to change? I don't think so, Vic. I think that's the one thing that Linda's talked about a lot, and we heard today that the the ice may change a little bit. You can see the weight of the shots is pretty consistent. Draws 14.5 from hog line to hog line, and it's uh, it's been a great surface. Now, the thing that uh, that we noticed this afternoon, or I noticed this afternoon, and a little bit this morning, was that they really will carry. It's the kind of thing that you particularly point out on a regular basis how lively or not lively the houses are. Yeah. These are very lively houses. One thing we did notice too in the men's game, uh, the Canadian men opened with a, a win today over Germany, uh, that if you do up the weight a little bit, it will run straight on you. Yeah, you have to be careful. And also there are some spots on, on the sheet we had this afternoon. We'll watch this sheet uh, tonight, but uh, there were some spots out there where later on the game, I don't know if you noticed or not this afternoon, but it did cool off inside the building. It was getting a little warmer and they cooled the building off and just slightly there was some straightening out. Well, these ladies have all become very familiar to us. Uh, Doherty, of course, uh, 15 times. Hannah Woods, 13 worlds. Marianne has been to six. Me, Only yeah? the lead, yeah. Camilla Holt, we saw for the very first time yeah. last year in Bismarck. I was a little surprised. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. You know, that first stone comes back 12 foot, and uh, Doherty went and played it. And she could have, as we always say, ignored it and done something sure. else. Well, that, that's what I was saying and tried to say in my opening, is, is that I think that she's going to be a little more cautious than we've seen maybe in the past a little bit. Uh, not to a point where she won't try and put rocks in place. I think she will. 
but you can see this end's being played wide open, and that's a little bit unusual. She has the advantage of Last Rock. She could have, as you mentioned, drawn to the face of that, frozen down to it, or even ignored it and thrown up a corner. Well, she's 70 split. 77, I got. I mean, 70s this morning were pretty good for Marianne. Yeah. Now, Vic, did you prepare some of the percentages yeah, and things that Linda does? I mean, because I obviously... I mean, my first you know, one... You had the whole morning off. You know, yes, I did. I could have just on the plane. You know what I think we should do? Is call Linda in her room. Oh, just... She's going to love that. She's trying to get yeah. some sleep. Yeah. yeah. Linda. Yeah. Linda, we need some yeah. stats. Yeah. I'm just yeah, Linda worked the morning Whatever draw is, with uh, Kathy Gauthier because both John Wells and I were, uh, and like so many others, uh, heading towards Winnipeg, we're uh, stuck for the last day uh, because of a tremendous ice storm in Toronto that shut down the airport. So Linda worked this morning with Kathy Gauthier and then this afternoon with Ray and I, and now she's gone home. The 401 would be like a NASCAR track this morning, Ooh, I would it imagine. Was, uh, there was, there were accidents of plenty. <coughs> she's certainly become a familiar face to all of us. I mean, she's been, as you mentioned, 15, I think you said, yep. world championships. And, and she came in with, as the winningest skip, you know, we talk about Russ Howard at the Briar being the winningest male skip. When it comes to women's play at the world, she came in as the winningest skip ever with 84 wins, and of course she won earlier today, so make that 85 now. Then do you speak to them curl too? Yeah. Yeah. Looky there. This other turn, you know, the out turn's nice and true here too. Okay. Do you believe, as uh, so many do, yeah. that whoa, whoa, whoa. as she goes, yeah. Kim Kelly, so goes the team? Well, sir, to a certain degree, I really think that, uh, whoa, whoa. I mean, it's a great unit. Yeah. We talked yeah. about the Randy Furby unit this afternoon, and they certainly are a tremendous yeah. Yeah. unit. Yeah. And this is a great oh, unit, and they're finally getting from me and from everyone else the, the, the respect they deserve. And I don't mean for one moment that I didn't, you know, realize or understand what a great player Colleen herself was and these people could play but I think it's been a little while kind of believing because of the style they, they play whether or not they can win on a consistent basis but this has become a team that really now knows they do play it fairly wide open she plays her team but uh, mechanically they're very strong I think Kim Kelly yes is a key the third is always a key but but uh, the key on this team and we saw this at the Scott because if you think back Vic to Kitchener that remember the first two or three or four games in Kitchener, the, the team really struggled. Marianne was Marianne not feeling Kitchener, well, yes. and Kim Kelly had a couple games that weren't super, but Colleen was unbelievable. She just kept the team alive, and all of a sudden they got on a roll away they went. Everything she does is, is, that is gonna walk here on this deliberate. Side. She comes down yeah. the ice, she steps um, onto the carpet behind the sheet. Up, she she gets the really reaches for the bottle of water. Yet. Well, you just never this know. is all the relaxation yeah. portion yeah. of it. Well, we, she was kind enough to talk with us. Remember during the fifth end break of the the women's championship from Flims, uh, the World Juniors, yeah. and and I asked her about the team. There's something right there, Kim. And it's that magical combination. Yeah. Uh, and you. When you say play her team, plays her team, what do you mean by that? Well, I, I think that she knows where she's really yep. strong, and, and she doesn't. Uh, I think when they when they don't look as whoa, comfortable whoa, as when there whoa. are a lot of rocks in place, so she definitely leans whoa. to that open game. And nice teams that let her play that way usually find out that they okay. can't do it because she'll beat them. But uh, uh, that's the strength of her team. I think that the whole team, when there are a lot of rocks in play, aren't as comfortable, so she plays within that. It doesn't mean she doesn't know how to catch up or how to play. It just means that she doesn't, isn't as comfortable. Remember what else she also said about Bismarck last year? She wasn't comfortable with the ice. Didn't and, like the surface. And the, see, there's an, in, there's an indication, though, that things can still bother her. It got in her head. And, and that was one thing that she didn't, I'll suggest, she wasn't able to park. Yeah, I, I wasn't by. referring to the fact that 
I ice can so body yes. all skips. But if down I'm here, she figures her, yeah. this will be yes. more like she saw at the Scott. Hans Vutrick is the lead ice figure. You have some of the best in the country here. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. So this is going to be hopefully to her benefit. What, what I meant more so about that, though, Vic, was a missed shot. She doesn't carry that kind of thing or a lost game. Uh, all skips in particular, if they struggle with the ice, lose a little confidence because when you lose confidence in the draw, you okay, lose confidence in being able to play aggressive. And because, uh, you know, obviously you have to draw to save, uh, save ends and it's going to happen. And if you don't have that draw weight in your pocket, then you really skip around it. You try and keep it as open as possible. How did you like that? Nordby curling just 60 something percent in a win over Denmark 10 3. The difference in the game was when Norway cracked up four in the sixth to break it open and then it was over in eight. I get it. Four eight anyway. Everybody's been deep. Not five. Eight. Looking for the line to the button. Always a nice. Uh, um, and you have an opportunity to see even. the path to that button. Taking right on the edge of the 12 foot. And so they're looking for 70. four feet of curl. That's what we talked about. And we'll see if it remains the same through He's the game. Four and a half, though. Okay. But faster than, a little practice, faster than practice. A little bit fat, yeah. Great focus, great soft release. Doesn't play with the handle. Gets it well in front. Stays fairly high in her delivery as well. Just the key to the field. So this may need a little bit hurry, of brushing. Hurry, 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 try to get it all To get in. it to the, the T line, line, if that's as far hurry, as you're going to take it. Hurry, 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 hurry. And she'll okay, just top five. 12. So 15 okay, so and change right. is top 12. <laughs> Well, I just couldn't understand why everybody was sliding behind the team. Okay. Now, for Dorney Norby, this will be practice was four her fifth ish, meeting against two. Jones. Her very first was in her first appearance back yeah. in 1982. So then was she was playing third for Trina Trulson. And Trulson in Norway won that game 7-5. Doherty has played Jones three times since then. She beat her in 99, 6-4. Jones won in 2001, 8-1. And Nina. then last year... Doherty was a 9-4 winner in round robin. So it's 3-1 advantage for Doherty Nordby over Colleen Jones. Over the years, it's really amazing how the Norwegian yeah. teams yeah. get themselves up for Canada, yeah. male or yeah. female. Yeah. Paul Trollson, of course, yeah. had great success. Christian yeah. Sorum, yeah. Igor Ramsfell. Yeah. Needs a little bit of a roll to get the blank. One more, another turn, maybe one more. And not yeah. enough. It'll hang on to the edge one. of the 12. And Norway plays it wide open and forced now to take the single. They'll give up the hammer to Canada when we come back. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships from Winnipeg, Manitoba are brought to you in part by Robaxaset, helping you walk away from back pain. Let's start our updates with the United States. That's Debbie McCormick from Madison, Wisconsin against Russia and Olga Yarkova from Moscow. McCormick in her second appearance. She's a, a native of Saskatoon. She played at the Worlds in Lausanne. Nice bit of brushing to get it around the guard, but they can hold it and it'll roll too far. And the U.S. had a chance for two, will settle for the single in the first. Updating you, Japan and Italy. They blank the first. The Japanese from Hokkaido will hold the hammer there. Switzerland scores two. The team from Bern ahead of Edith Loudon from Perth. Norway forced to take the one after they couldn't blank against Canada. And the score is just going up. Excuse me, madam, if you could just just move well, just a little bit, move for us. You know, we are on uh, we are on TV. We're looking for a little bit of a hurry up. Thank you. Sweden gets one. And that is Annette Norberg playing Denmark and Dorte Holm on a Saturday night. Second draw of women's play here at the Ford Worlds, and Canada has the let hammer curl, in the second. Let a curl, you guys, just halfway. Let it bend a little, I guess. Let a curl, let a curl, let a curl. 
finished. Well, here's the call to take advantage yeah. of the uh, yep. attempted at blank that Doherty did not make. The first rock into the rings. Nice shot. Second rock, actually. Now they've thrown up the corner guard. That's the first one. <laughs> that one's it. <laughs> Doherty will defend against the corner by trying to go in behind it. Now the key here, of course, as we Ooh, talk about all the time, Lango. he cannot be long. He can't slip behind the T-line. Harry Ann Haslam. Boy, this is really walking. Just too heavy and up the back. So a chance to utilize that guard. Marianne. Today, there's a new arena being built. <laughs> that one slips through the back, the true north center. But this, of course, the home of the Winnipeg Jets. And you said, and they were AFCO Cup champions, let's remember, but some of the best hockey you've ever seen was played uh, in this building. It was fantastic. You know, Ulf Nielsen, Anders Hedbear, Bobby Hall. It was just, we had uh, five or six years of just tremendous hockey. And there they are, the three championship years of 76, 78. And uh, 79. In fact, Bobby Hull to this day still says it was the best hockey, Hi. the most enjoyable hockey for him. Hi. Willie Lindstrom. Actually, I got a, a hello today from one of the Swedish contingent from Willie and said to say hi to spend a lot of years here. We spent a lot of time with the, the Swedes when they were here. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Little. Little. Come Yeah. Of course, the uh, Victoria, the Stay Winnipeg around. Victorias were a Stanley Cup champion way back in 1896. Yeah, I'd remember that, that one. Was yeah, was, you knew where I was going, didn't you? It's an overtime game. Yeah. <laughs> Back line. Oh. But this one is destined to uh, be torn down when the uh, North Center is opened in a couple of years' time. About 15,000 seats. They were making a presentation this week, Winnipeg, ready to uh, host the uh, World, uh, World Hockey, Hockey Championships, Championship. yeah, along with Saskatoon, I believe. Right on, I think, that, and then they're up against, first of all, Canada has to get that bit, I think, Vic, is how it works. But then it was uh, kind of Winnipeg, Saskatoon, uh, Halifax, Quebec, am I right in saying I, I believe, that? yes, so, so, you're right. I knew from the first one that that was kind yeah. of yeah, you're right. They were, they were optimistic that they might uh, do well, so we're going to try and visit the... Uh, construction site later in the week and show you how it is maybe show you some plans it's a big hole right now Vic <laughs> that's what it is so we won't be showing very much so what you're saying is don't bother going Vic is it? it's, it's kind of like that hole we had in our car <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, that's kind of an inside story yeah but yeah Hannah Woods there's a, a flip through the uh, record book. I, I can't remember Doherty ever being at one of these events without Hannah. Well, she would have been when she played with Trina. Pedersen. Well, wasn't Hannah on that team? That I will suggest no, but I may be wrong. But uh, I think in Milwaukee, Hannah was there, I think. This was 14, and it's 15, so the first year, 82, 82 yeah. she was not. But she's been to four Olympics, as Doherty has. 88 in Calgary, 92. That was Alberville when it was still demonstration, 98 in 
than a year ago, of course, in Salt Lake. Chance to get a pretty Whoa. nice roll here. Go the other way. Careful, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Good shot, Kim. Good call by Kim halfway down. They were trying to roll the other way, but shot. it's partially covered. Long live. Out of her yeah, hand, Camilla yeah. Holt and Marion Haslam yeah. picking it up, Hi. looking for the yeah. hit and roll yeah. across. She got that going right out of her fingers, Vic. It was gone. Now she's in big trouble. Remember, was, now Canada has the hammer. Pardon yeah, me. I was surprised. Sorry. I, I was surprised to see her play it with that kind of weight. You can see on the release that she kind of double clutches it a little bit. Just watch here a moment. Comes out, just releases the fingers, then double clutches a bit, and then just kind of turns it over right there and gets it going. I, I was surprised that uh, Jordy didn't play that a little, with a little less weight, no, try it, because the chance of hitting that front one, now you're really in trouble. Wait on, wait. Whoa, whoa. Not deep. Got room. Just 12 foot. If you can let it go, let it go. Whoa. You don't want this deep. You got her in trouble. Now? 12 yep. foot's yep. fine. Yep. Yep. And top edge of the four is where they will come. Well, there's any question you're in trouble. You can see this situation here. You could come down on top of that stone, try and get yourself out of this just by coming down here. Sitting on top of it. You could try the double. This way here. Tough with that stone on the back. And then you can play the hit and roll in front of the stone at the back of the forefoot. I think that's what they decided. Live look at Japan against Italy. Japanese were winners in their opener. The Italy, the Italians lost. That's Diana Gaspari. She was at the World Juniors in Flims where they picked up a bronze medal and they apparently celebrated with a parade through the streets of Cortina de Pezzo for that. But a chance now for the Japanese and Shinobu Aota from Hokkaido to make the hit and stick for a couple. That's just a flat out giveaway as she gives up the single on the flash and the Italians will take the one nothing lead. Pretty nice results on our sheet. She is. And I guess if we don't sweep it, if it's the weight that you don't sweep it, it might not. It might come more. I don't know. And tuck it in there. Yeah, it just feels just like this. Canada slide. with last rock. This is Colleen's first. Golden opportunity to pick up a couple and make a really good shot. You might get three. Lots of line, there's lots of room. I think this may be a little heavy too. Well, oh, this yeah. is uh... Lift your feet. Okay. I mean, you know, when you think about is. curling games, you go, you go back and think about shots like that. I know that Colin would love to have that one over. That is, was really a great opportunity to score multiple points, but now all of a sudden, it looks like you may be Lucky to get your single. Just draw down. And she looked at trying to play some kind of a double, but I think if you just draw down on top of it, 
You can take the end away. Colleen will have to draw for a single. Yeah. Well, I have no idea what to do with the draw. Yeah. 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 You see, Vic, how, how that last rock slid. It really, Colin was, they, and they, she let it go. They indicated she thought she was close, and then all of a sudden just kept sliding. Yeah, draw it up, yeah. Linda, of course, didn't leave her watch. <laughs> oh, she knows us. Yeah, that's right. Well, a chance to get out of a problem, a big, big problem, was facing Norway, but this is a golden opportunity to get yourself out of it. Freeze down to the back one. Final stone for Norway and Dorty Nordby. This has got lots of weight, too. Now, can you get to that? Oh, oh, yeah, well. sure. <laughs> Push it back for two. Tap it back for two. You had to get that to curl and stop in front of the outside stone. The outside stone. She wanted. We wanted this rock to come down. It's a popular shot. And stop right. Oh, just there. a little touch more. Yeah. <laughs> little more ice. I think your ice looks good, Colleen. Little more ice. I'm only throwing up. Little more. I'm throwing just a little bit more than what I just threw. <clears throat> I know. Just tap back and she weight. just threw back line. I at know, this. Dorothy, she'll curl more, though. And so will my intern. Okay. I'll go with you. Quite sure. This is the right ice. Final stone here in the second, and Colleen Jones. A little quiet tap Wait, back. Has to come across the face just a little bit. She does get a lot of movement on her intern. She's right about that. Well, clean, clean only. Yeah, it's 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 packed ish. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Good girl. And out the back for two. You were so nice. I see the number come down. The team's traded with Saints. Canada still comes away with a couple. I know Doherty through Marianne through Canada's Colleen Jones heads a field of ten. Ten of the best women's curling nations here at the Ford Worlds in Winnipeg. As we welcome you back to the arena, draw two for the ladies. They played this morning. The men were on in the afternoon. Tomorrow it'll be uh, a one game day for the ladies and the men will play the two. So Canada picks up a couple and we go to the third in Norway with the hammer. Come on. We can see uh, Doherty only waited the one end to play it open. Rock into the forefoot. Corner guard. So we will see lots of rocks in play as we suggested. Many of the families are a little late arriving. They were caught in that ice storm as well from the east. Yeah, and that's was saying that they uh, have to make right a, up. I think her husband has to make a trek to through Thunder Bay and then overnight. It's curl on its own for a bit. It's really a, we're at least there. You know, we're nightmare. Yeah, we're just fighting. I think uh, okay. last night All in right, Toronto, tonight in Thunder Bay. Yeah. Isn't that what she called it? You miss, and could be in Brandon by. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Camila, as is Dorby. 
our uh, Doherty, our uh, curling uh, instructors. Ooh. I mean, like and that's one thing Doherty has like tried that. to do, Ray, you know that, as yeah. well as anybody, is try to promote the game in the country. She's, she was writing a, a, a newsletter on the sport and has become uh, very much a promoter of the game. I think uh, I, I heard Pal Tresden say today that uh, there are now, now three curling buildings, curling clubs, if we call them clubs here, but they're curling facilities now in Norway. I think there's there's one obviously in Oslo, but there's one up a couple up north, I think now. Yep. It's the advanced whoa, whoa. wellness center. Get over. Is where Marianne works. Come on, honey. Tick. My oh. fault. I'm I had sorry. the most harrowing experience of my life in Norway. A good friend of mine and and Warren Brook, who was teaching with me, we were flew to a little town up north called Trondheim. Now, for some reason, the 747s were grounded, but we decided that we would fly. <laughs> and I can tell you, really? yeah, there was a bottle of scotch. It took, lasted about 25 minutes, and I've never been that afraid in my life. And we arrived there, and the, the runway is out into the ocean. And uh, that's not a good one. Oh. You want to make sure you've got the brakes oh. for that one. I took a cab home. <laughs> Mary Ann uh, is a former skip. She skipped at four World Juniors for Norway. Regular. Nice regular. No. 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 Just nice weight. Ten three. That's nice weight. Yeah. Nice shot. Boy, Scotland in some trouble early against Switzerland. They gave up two. Yep. And now Edith Loudon in her fourth appearance out of the Airly White Ladies Curling Club in Perth. Drawing against at least a couple of uh, Swiss stones, Nicole Straussack and her team from Either the Bern I Curling Club. Lynn Cameron, Katie Loudon are the brushers. Karen Addison is the third. That's a draw against three. The biter is there as well, and she gets it far enough. They do. Very nice. Good bit of brushing. And Scotland will get their single 2-1, the Swiss lead. And in our game, a good call by Doherty. She, she, okay. she wanted to get around that corner guard, the guard she put threw. up, and she she did that. It didn't quite come far enough. It's not a shot. It's second shot, but a very good call, aggressive call. Trying to get that extra point. A little more than Marianne's. You've got to be a little careful on this ice. Uh, then they talked about it this afternoon. When you step the weight up, boy, I tell you, it will run straight. Nice you have to be careful. Yeah, the weight saves her there. She's just a little out. Okay. Brings the stone a little closer to the button. You want to go around? You want to hit that and roll? Looks like the come around. Norway playing the Redstones has the hammer here in the third. Body fact. Hey, Sticky. Look around. Hey, Sticky. Look around. Buzz ball. Put the program back. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You see the late finish, Vic. It really, I mean, you passed, you missed the guard by, uh, was on the center line by a foot and a half. And it almost went totally behind. Oh, yeah, it's a good shot. Who do you think is shot, by the way? Uh, red. <laughs> yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Norway. That, would be, that would be Norway. That would be Norway. <laughs> It will come though. Kim Kelly. Great weight. And that is a lively house. Enough to push it out the back. Right, 
Live look now Sweden and Denmark Sweden Annette Norberg opened with a single in the first and the uh, the Danes have a chance here for three. This is Dorte home. This is her fifth appearance at the World Championship. She won a silver at the Worlds in 98 when she was playing with Helena Block. Helena Black Laverson now co-holding the record of 15 appearances at the Worlds and there's the hit and it'll stop in time for three. So Denmark with a 3-1 lead over yep. Sweden. Yep. 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 And then come once more, then. Yeah, but you can slow roll. Yeah. You can do double. You can. Okay. Just trying to get a throw. Trying to throw a ten. Okay. She can roll away from that corner guard if she so desires. You don't want to leave it there for sure. You can see Whoa. Colleen on the Close. CBC Close. Morning Close. News. Whoa. She's actually a very Whoa. accurate weather forecaster. She's uh, made it here on time. Thank you. Not like someone I know. Not yes. Pretty close on the way, eh? Uh, I thought it might come up with that. Yeah. Huh? Dirty's first one. Now this is a, another opportunity. What you, yeah. all you can ask for? Get around the guard. Yeah. I got a nine. Yeah. I got yeah. a nine. Well, nine. But what's Colleen's little problem with the ice? When you think about it, Colleen's uh, Colleen's had some trouble adjusting early here. Yeah, a little bit. It's really sliding and it's closing a little harder than we thought. This is where you want this one. Right in there. in her first she has the hammer it's a little outside that uh, center line now it, it, they finished hard but I don't know if she she put that back a bit or took a little too much ice maybe I don't think she's gonna get it covered completely yeah well, went back far enough but gives the Colleen a chance to get it out of there she can see almost all of it yeah it's wide open it looks like isn't it Wide open for Colleen, and it would be a tough shot for either you or I. She's <laughs> crashing all over <laughs> yeah, the car. That's right. We'd be rolling those out turns over. Remind me not to put the corners on that side. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to go far, eh? Unless you throw like, no handle. She moves through the same routine each time. Hers, theirs did. Takes her time in the hack. Would be nice. Force her to one. Always a little conversation with the front end. Same way. The brushers, I should say, actually. Kelly, of course, Kim being the third on the team. Nancy, the lead, holding the, the brush for her skip. Yep. Clean. Oh, we? Well, 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 well. So Please. that's a couple of missed opportunities uh, for Doherty Nordby. She had one last and to kind of keep that hold that to one and gave up a deuce and she had a chance to score two here so she'll look for the blank now well you have to take a lot less uh ice for flips yeah i thought that but i thought it was it is yeah so i was gonna spill but it's hard yeah she's always got a smile on her face starting she's i remember as a youngster a 13 14 year old came to the clinics i held in oslo and Actually, they came in from their 
hometowns, and they slept right in the rink, in the basement, over overnight. And then we would really, was, yeah, junior wow. classes they had. It was just it was only there was, there was only one curling hall in, in Norway at that time in Oslo. Love the game. She still does. Mm -hmm. Looking for the blank. a little extra weight that didn't seem like a lot of weight boy that really sat there that's what we talked about in the reading the ice segment didn't see that that she did not throw that badly we're right behind yeah, she'd see and she the, the, she threw that well it ran straight you're absolutely right it doesn't look to me like she put it back and you can see the center line and, and this just rides out she may have just slightly put it outside but this rides right down and she just catches a corner and not enough to remove it. Big, big steal of a single. So the Canadians pick up one more. And through three. It's a 3-1 lead. Let's meet the two teams and throwing lead stones for Norway. Camilla Holt for Canada is Nancy Delahunt. The seconds, Marianne Haslam. And Marianne Way. Throwing third stones, Hannah Woods. And Kim Kelly and the skips. For Norway, Dordy Nordby, and Canada's Colleen Jones from the Mayflower Curly Club in Halifax. Hi, I'm David Nedowin. Watch us tomorrow on TSN. And it'll be a rematch of last year's final in Bismarck as Paul Trulson, the gold medal winner, from Salt Lake goes against Randy Furby. Trulson was uh, beaten and soundly 11-4 by Switzerland in his opener, while Furby was a winner over Germany 9-5. John Wells and Kathy Goche will have that for you. The five sheets in play here at the Winnipeg Arena. And that's a big steal of one. You know, that was a big because point, you're right. It's just mistakes, and both yeah. teams have made them. It hasn't been a very uh, technically sound game. No, there's no, no question that Dirty has had a number of golden opportunities to, to save an end uh, by freezing one case. She hit and stuck in the first end, and, and if she gets her first one around there, the top of the eight foot, she's in a good position to score two, not give up a single. And in fairness to her, Lots it looked room. to me like she threw the last one pretty well, but it just ran straight down there. Lots of room. Lots of room. Lots of room still. Weight's good too. At the end, weight it's torn. Four, if more than that even. No, it's good. Yep. Hurry. Right. right up. Weight shot, Nance. Nice shot, Nance. Boy, look at that finish. Crystal. Yeah. I'll say. Now, what do you, if you're Doherty, what yeah. do you do in a, what do you go to school? What do you bank on that last shot of hers? I remember today, Linda was suggesting, you know, if you're going to play that kind of weight, now you just put, really put it, this, the uh, the rock or your broom right on the edge of the stone. Yeah, in fairness, once again, to, to, on her behalf, it looks, she only took an inch and a half of ice and, and she threw it. And it, I, I guess, Vic, she must have maybe slid it back a little bit because yeah. it really did run straight in. and she didn't overthrow it it wasn't like she buzzed yeah. it down there or something yeah half down the road run back doesn't work and can it again without the hammer line one you will see Dory get beat up a lot because she knows how to play to get back in the game so she understands completely it doesn't matter if I lose by 12 or if I lose by one it's a loss it's a round robin loss so she will go all out to try and get yeah, those wait. two points back.
Ja, du tar den. Kom igjen, Kom igjen, kom igjen. Kom igjen. Oh, terrific roll. Great roll. That's how you get a two back, Victor. Try and run this back out of the stone in the house. Marianne Way. Yep. Yep. Whoa. 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 Run it back. Catch it. Nice and shot. she does. Enough to push it out the back. One more turn. And there it goes. There's a good example of Vic the Lively Rings. You know, we've seen lots of games where that rock would not have even come close to going out. Nice shot. The same weight, I'd say. I didn't get time. You can see she just catches a corner of it, and yet it's enough weight to push it out of the rings. Talk about a lively house. This house is pretty lively tonight, the Winnipeg Arena. I think it was Winnipeg years ago uh, during those jet days that you talked about, Vic, that, we, that the whiteout kind of uh, right. was started. And everybody and we, dressed in white. Maybe yeah. we can get everybody here to, as the week goes along, here, we can white this yeah, thing out. I drove, I drove Keep it up out here, Kim. Okay. Yeah, cool thing. Kim Kelly. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Hard Whoa. to hear you. Yeah. Scores for you. Italy continues to lead Japan as they uh, flank the third. Switzerland scored two more in the uh, third. So it's a 4 1 lead in the Swiss over Scotland, our featured game. Sweden and Denmark is a rematch of the European Championship back in December in Grindelwald. Sweden won that one to so take the gold medal. And Russia with a steal of one in the third, leading the U.S. 2 1. Going up into the 12th, but we'll see if it finishes here. Sure does. Boy, does it ever. Look yes, at that. Yes, sir. Right, I have that option, too. Yeah. Well, I tell you, there's yeah. just nothing you can't get around. And that makes for fun. I have seen it. Okay. Soft touch this is by Kim Kelly. Move it all the way out? Mm, I don't think. Hmm. Not quite. Shot, I thought yeah. it was, had enough weight to maybe push it out, but so a little hit and tap this back. And sit in front of it. Shot by Hannah. Great freeze. Inch more, Nance.
five. Okay. Be still my heart. Be still my heart. Oh, oh. Oh. Side, on, the Brazilian else. Grand Prix, you'll see it Sunday. Rubens Barrichello um, you gotta keep has the, the pole so position so. at home in that. Brazil. 12.30 Eastern Time, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. And I think David Coulthard is on the front row, and I, if I saw it correctly, Jacques Villeneuve struggled. He's 13th. The track is what, Interlagos? Is that, yes. Is that the track? It's a wonderful track, yeah. I do very, in fact, you know what, it's funny. You look up, they've got the flags of the world here. Flags of all the uh, countries that are in the World Curling Federation, and you know what? Brazil's flag is up there. No. I honestly, that is. So not only do they care about Formula One. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Okay. Nice shot. Sorry, sorry. Soccer, sorry. of course, but they are now not quite a power in curling, but soon. <laughs> Can you imagine you and me and Linda? In Brazil. And, and the rest of us in, 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 in Rio. Down on the Rio Grande. <laughs> and ladies say I'm handy. <laughs> <laughs> they follow me all over. They cover me in clover. <laughs> You've never heard that song? I know, right? I hate, and you know what? I'm glad I had. What? <laughs> Eddie Duchin? Never heard of Eddie Duchin? No, I don't. I don't remember that. Oh, you... No. I could just see it. Just please, before before we go, the world's in Rio. <laughs> uh, they better hurry up. <laughs> Well, she can tap tap this back and come to get to the Why nose not, of this, huh? and even if she catches the back red one, it will maybe jam on the other one behind it. So, a chance again here for Dirty. Yep. Yep. Nien. Yep. Nien. Oh. 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 Dirty Nordby and her first. Just rolled a little too yep. far. If it curls a bit more, she gets the roll behind the guard and she jams it, and maybe saves it. Do you think she could have played it with a little less weight? Would have maybe helped her out there? Uh, she could have, but I just think it's just a matter didn't curl enough. Okay, we gotta stay here. I know you know that. Oh, yeah, no stand, we go ganz good. No, I don't know if it's going to take a comb or a comb. I don't know if it's going to take a comb. Ja, men jag ropar jag ropar ja jag ropar kost ja och så och så stoppar de på körl och så ropar jag bara nej det är det bra väldigt bra spel so you never heard that song no, before no, eh? you're I, trying I to think aren't you I can see you sitting over there go what is he it go? goes down on the Rio Grande the ladies say I'm handy <laughs> they follow me all over they cover me in clover now the little girl from Ipanema no no Gotta hit the stick on this. Whoa! 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 Close, clean. No, no, no! No! Not gonna curl up, is it? Get over it. That's sitting right out there. That's uh, Colleen's out turn. It's gonna stay. Good girl. Good job. Oh, that was close. I know I'm doing Stop that. Stop watching! What? Oh, I know it's annoying. I know as a thrower it is. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be doing it. Actually, you don't often do that to my shots at all. Because I thought it was going to roll out. So I saw at the end it was coming up, and I thought, oh. I'm oh. It's just, it is so going this way. For the single. So a draw against two for Norway and Dorty Nordby. And we'll look for 14 at the hog line.
Mariam Haslam closest to the stone. Camilla Holt in front. And that's just a dusting. And that's a nice draw. Back four foot for the single here in four. It's not the uh, beach at Rio. It's Portage and Maine in Winnipeg. Snow the last couple of days, but they're expecting it to warm up quite a bit here in Winnipeg, up in uh, double digits, 10, 12 degrees by middle of the week. Not we Brazil-like, but... No, not <laughs> quite, no. I, I guess down there in their curling clubs, they would have, like, uh, salt around we the 12-foot circle <laughs> or, <laughs> on yes. the rim. Yes. yes, they would. Only at the end. Uh, maybe one day. Yes, if yeah. you can, yep. Yeah. Hurry. Yeah. As we go to the fifth, 3-2 Canada leading. Right and up. Colleen Jones playing the nice Yellowstones has nice the hammer. Way. Nice draw nice by nice. Gordy for the single, but there was a couple of chances in the end to, to get that extra point, Vic, to tie the game up. So. Long center guard, then the come around. Look at how much ice they're taking. It's moving. Uh, uh, Four and a half, five feet now. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come oh, on. Trying to get around that a little. Partner, perfect. Nice. Like yellow still may be shot. So reading the ice then. And adjusting to it becomes all that much more important. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, the ice note when we did reading the ice was the changes that are going to take place, and it certainly is changing a little bit. And if it, if it starts to get a little bit warmer in the building, you'll see that they'll, as they did this afternoon, they'll drop the temperature inside the building. I didn't want to stay. What happens later on, as you mentioned, that the temperature gets warm outside, you really can't do it effectively, you know? And if you pull the brine and make it colder, it sometimes straightens right up on you. But the best in the world are working on it. Or she could just freeze to the face of that as well. She's uh, taking a little less ice this time. Marianne Haslam as we play second stones here in the fifth. Not a bad thing chipping that guard off a little bit. Ooh, sneaky. That uh, Yellowstone was in a great spot. She was just trying to freeze on the face of it. Wait, Whoa. no, no. Oh. This is well out now. Watch the four foot line. You'll see yeah. it start to come now. Five sheets in play, and oh, this is always a sign of spring. The Masters at Augusta, and you'll see the first and second rounds beginning next week. Yep. It's Thursday oh. and uh, Friday yep. Yep. here on TSN. Yep. 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 Looking for the yep. double, Vic. Yep. 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 <laughs> it's a bit of hard luck too. She moved it in further in behind the guard. In behind the guard. Absolutely covered now. Yeah. Remember, Canada with the Yellowstones does have the hammer here in five, leading 3 2. 
situation in the forefoot is so good. You can see Colleen just wants to hit this and roll to the outside. I don't blame her. Called to the outside, but when you, when you can get a roll like that. In turn draw, trying to freeze to the face, kind of angle freeze it on, so maybe she can do something with it. By the guard, yep. Come in. And down on the face. But Canada's still lying too. Unfortunately, they could kind of curl too much because now you have got no angle on it. It's right in behind the long guard in front. Out here is fine. She doesn't mind a Okay, I'll give it to you guys. This end setting up well for Canada. She's moving the blue. City. This is big time trouble for the Norwegians. Well, eventually you have to start failing, don't you? Yes, this is uh, Hannah Woods' uh, last shot, so she better get. Uh, she's trying to run the red back onto yellow, yellow onto red if she can. Trying to get an exchange of stones. Hannah Woods. much at all just uh, okay, move the guard over a little bit but it's all but covered yeah. Kim Kelly when do you go for more Ray when would you put a third one in <laughs> I wouldn't touch that situation with a 10-foot ball it's really and she's really the only time you'd be trying to get the third one is if it was your last rock draw or something to catch the forefoot. You don't want to put a rock anywhere that might work against you. And she's got the rocks in the forefoot sitting so well. Beauty. Beauty is right. Now she overlaps the red stone in front. I mean. Well, the Italians in their uh, first appearance since 1985 are up on Japan. Switzerland ahead of Scotland. That's our feature game, of course. Swedes have taken the lead on Denmark. And Russia has stolen back to back to lead the USA now, three to one. Yeah. You can see the house, the rocks in the house, they're in such great position for Team Canada. The 
Even the little lady with the smile, and she's always smiling. She really is. She's always got a great smile on her face, but she knows she is in big time trouble. Now that uh, stone on the left-hand side, just above the uh, the Ford, angle back possibility. The, the, re the red stone, you mean? Yeah. Big? Well, I don't think so because of the guards. This one here is what you're talking about. Well, no, the one oh, up this above one here. the Ford. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you could back. come. I mean, you could come. Uh, there's a lot of Fords out there. That's a possibility. Your last shot. Drive it onto your red as well. Jordy Nordby and her first skip stones here in five. Looks like the weight's close. She's got to get it to move a little bit more for her, try and maybe tuck it around the rocks in the forefoot if she can get them around, but. She's trying to get something on an angle that she can use. Well, I'm just going to guard that. But we've got two there, so. Keep it on that red line. You know, of, the, of this one over here, it's pretty steep. Look at it up there, Marianne. It's real steep. It is steep. It's there. Yes. But I think it's only to sit the one. And it, she's got to hit the outside of it. I'd like it on the uh, red. Um, red line. See, Marianne, I don't want it. I don't want it tight because I'm afraid then it's going to be easier for to smash this one. Yes. Back. Yeah. So. So like great. Like I will. On. I will give her that other one because I think line on the red, but more on your side of the red. Am I throwing a six? Yes. Marianne, I wouldn't have a clue how to throw a six and a half. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm throwing a six. <laughs> but he didn't throw six. Yeah. That's some pretty fine throwing if you can have it. We just throw it a six and a half. Jones in her first. Too much, Not I think. Good, any out. It's all the she wanted to get that on the forefoot line, on the red line, she said, and see how much it curled. She's playing that anyway. Well, you know what? What? The guard wouldn't have done any good. She was playing this shot all the time, anyhow. That's true. Very Maybe true. that's the best thing that just happened. In she was going to play this. Tomorrow. She could play this stone right here, the one that she just put there. She's decided to come at it from this angle, the one that Vic, you talked about earlier. Yeah. Go on to that. And go on to this. <laughs> now, do you think she hurt herself by the, her first stone where it ended up? No, no, no. And it's nice for her to have that other one in there because she can hit either one of them and at least remove one stone and then make it very tough for Colleen to get her. Produce. She'd be happy only to give up a single here. That's basically what she's doing. Line. Final stone. Line. Dorothy Norby looking for the Let's angle go. run back. Yep, 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 yep. Line. Line. Oh. Angle it back, catch it, move them off, move it far enough. And that's hard luck because now it's a hit for three, but she almost hit that perfect. Oh. <laughs> Just had to hit it harder, Vic. She had everything going. Mm -hmm. Then with the rock at the top of the 12 foot, just in the in the uh, top of the uh, <laughs> four foot, in the eight foot would have been shot. <coughs> I'm ever glad my guard's not there. 
That's what I just said. Thank God we didn't guard that rock. Exactly. And who, I wouldn't have known she was going to play that anyhow. You know what I mean? Back line, wait. Just tap this back for three. But not to play it too cute, I'd gladly take the two. Like, I'm afraid of the... Not that I've seen a lot of finish from our rocks here. No, oh, I agree. Yeah. You got room there, too. That I should won't be, be good. throwing hack, Miriam. Not with that ice. A little bump on the ice by the Ford there. <laughs> Look like a speed bump. Yeah. <laughs> Final stone chance for three Clean. for Canada Just here in the wall. fifth. Close, yo! Yeah, back 12! Yo! Yeah. Mary Ann Way and Kim Kelly got a fight to get it by a stone just top eight foot. Big rush needed now to drag it by. Big scrub, get it by no. I wanted the frat, but I couldn't let it curl anymore, so. Just and so it'll yeah. be one only yeah, for Canada here in five. Big break for the Norwegians. It's a little shy. What's that? Midway through, second draw for the women. Canada leads 4-2. Yeah, anyway, good try. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships from Winnipeg, Manitoba are brought to you by Nokia, official wireless phone of the season of champions. By Karcher, you'll look for things to clean. And by Ford. Built for life in Canada. Well, you talked about the uh, oh. their coach, oh, that, that gentleman on good. one knee. That's Ken Bagnall, and uh, he is the sports psychologist, and he just talks to them about focus, the positives. He listens, as Linda told us before, about if they if he hears anything negative in their in their yeah. discussions, he tries to bring it back to the positive, and he has uh, been a positive influence on this team. And Canada in their third draw, they'll just play once on Sunday. They'll go against Dorte Holm from Denmark. The Danes are on the ice tonight against Sweden. That's on Sunday at 2 Eastern time, 11 a.m. Pacific. Portage in Maine. Only one city, and that is Winnipeg. It's a field that includes Colleen Jones, of course, Doherty Nordby. It's the women's Ford Worlds here in Winnipeg. Let's update you on one of the scores. And this is Switzerland and uh, Scotland as they play in the fifth. The Swiss champions are from the Bern Curling Club, skipped by Nicole Straussack. But it is Selena Rolio that throws the fourth stone. Against Scotland and Edith Loudon from Perth. A shot, a little quiet tap for two and a 6 2 Swiss lead as they go to the break. Down to the USA and Russia. And Russia got one in the second, then stole singles in three and four. And now this is the final stone for the U.S. skip. Debbie yeah. McCormick, yeah. A native of Saskatoon, out of the yeah. Madison Curling Club in Madison, Wisconsin, playing Olga Yarkova from Moscow. And this is a chance for a hit and stick for three. And there it is. And so they'll go to the break. The U.S. is back in front now, 4-3. All the scores now as we've reached the midway point of this second draw of women's play. And Japan, Shinobi Aota from Hokkaido with her first points, trailing Italy. We showed you that update, of course. Our featured game is just about to resume. And a 4-2 Canada lead. And Sweden and Denmark, they're in the break of a 4-4 tie, a rematch of the European Championships of last December in Grindelwald, which uh, Sweden yeah. won. I, uh, as we welcome you back to the arena on this Saturday night, as we go to the sixth, and Norway playing the Redstones has the hammer. 
one of the people I bumped into in the airport who was affected by the ice storm <laughs> last night. This is another person. No, okay. this is another one. Patty Lank. Oh, Patty Lank. Patty yeah. Lank. She lost the final. She to, lost the final yeah. to uh, to Debbie McCormick in Utica, and she said so. She was there with her family. Yeah, I felt so bad for them because. They had their sandals on. They had shorts on. They were all decked out. They were trying to get to Florida. Brazil. Oh, no, Florida. <laughs> that's right. That's trying to get to yeah. Florida, and they were uh, Lots of room. they were yeah, held up as well, and were forced to spend Line, the, uh, the night hey. in a hotel in Toronto, and we're trying to get out today. I think uh, Patty's husband is an Air Canada pilot. If I'm, uh, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think, think I am. Yes, yeah. <laughs> nice shot, Nance. Do you, you want to bet on were it? You, were, you, were, you, were you waiting me for just a back? <laughs> now, yes, I am right. Yeah. Yes, but, uh, well, that was a, a, a real break for Norway because that was a tap back for, for three, Vic, and that were to put this game uh, maybe even out of, uh, out of hand for uh, Doherty, but... After five, brought to you by True Value. Uh, one stolen point, but I, I don't know those numbers. I guess hit percentage for Canada overall a little lower than yeah, what I you think would so, expect. Vic, lower than we really expected. But you know, in, once again, in fairness to, the, to both teams, there's a lot of curl in the ice, and so mm -hmm. a little bit of a maybe hurry. reading the ice problem by hurry, hurry, hurry. both skips a little bit. Run back. Good nice shot. shot. Gets Come away in. with the double jam. Canada lying one half buried. What, what doesn't really show on that, uh, you know, uh, on that page, Vic, is the fact that there's the opportunities missed. Yes. That, that that's kind of the thing that never shows on those. I, I, I never, you know, I never wanted to mention that before because I don't, because Linda gets mad at it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what? I, it, that, that's a she's not that, here today. That's true. <laughs> but that's a statistic we we did chart for a while. Yeah. Where unforced errors. Yeah. Exactly. Well, there's, there really isn't anything we haven't charted. We've, we've got stats on them, pretty well everything. Yeah. Yeah. Linda, of course, with the evening yeah. off. Uh, yeah. Both John Wells and I and other members of the crew yeah. are held up getting yeah. here today. So yeah. this morning, Linda worked with yeah. Kathy Gauthier in Canada's win over Russia. And so then this afternoon, she joined you and I, of course. So tonight, she's home and snug as a bug. Well-deserved rest, for sure. And uh, leaving Feel. us to kill the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> leaving us to sink by ourselves. Yes. Little things not working too well for the Norwegians. Yep. That looked like a Whoa. terrific Whoa. shot. It was going to get her by that guard and just rubbed it, and straightened it out. Freeze, trying to angle freeze onto the stone hey, in the forefoot. Stands watching. Nice to see Connie Laliberti, a former world champion of 1984. Regular. Connie, take over a look here. at us, Connie. Connie, yes, uh, Connie. Oh dear, uh, not yeah, looking. I'm not looking. Firm, firm, firm. 
did, uh, she had a good year this year too in their provincials. They had a really pr pretty good run at it. Uh, Janet Harvey was playing third for Connie and went to the semifinals. But took some time off as well, did she not? Just yeah, to she get away from the game and had a child, recharge. a charge. Yeah. Mechanically, just a great, great thrower. Hannah Woods as we Monica, play here in the sixth. Casey, Four two Canada Canada. leading. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Sneak it by, they do. Yep. Very nice. Come in. Come in. Come in. Little, little, little. Not quite far enough. Maybe a little communication problem. I think that a lot of the European teams don't seem to communicate as well as some of the top Canadian teams in, in the brushers letting the, the okay. holder of the brush know what the weight is and where it is. Because uh, you, you hear so often in the, in the top women's curling here in Canada and, uh, and the men in particular, you know, where is it? It's three, it's four, it's six, it's eight. They use numbers, they use areas. That, that could have been brushed all the way. Kim Wild Kelly. Wait, hurry, 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 right up. Wait, good. No, you're racking. Hard, 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 hard. Ah. All the way in for that. I didn't expect yeah. that. Oh. Great way, eh? I didn't expect that. Now that little bump on the, the guard, has it opened up something? Well, it's still a little tough. You could tough to get to that back rock on the button, Nick. There's a... If you were going to come through that hole, you'd have to come through with pretty solid weight. You can hit, try and make the double, as she indicated. Certainly don't want to hit it wrong, but if you ever made it, you're in good shape. They leak it right loss. Looking at playing this, she talked about maybe yeah. trying to catch this one. It's dangerous. You don't want to get anywhere into that one. But she also talked about hitting this one and trying maybe rolling over here into this area. Maybe later on you're able to get at this one. I think they're going to try the double here, Vic. And it was. As Dorothy tries to drag it back, and it looks like she has. It's a very nice shot by Hannah. And she's pleased. Good call by Dorothy from this end. And washers held it and let it go a little bit. Almost overbrushed it. But once again, the lively house, Victor, and she got it in position. You'd like a rock, I'm sure. Trying to run it back. Yeah. Colleen Jones in her first Three. skip stones Whoa. here in six. Whoa. 
Marianne Way, Kim Kelly got the line, run it back, stick it, nice and it'll shot. just pop out into the open. But it gets that stone off the forefoot. Nice shot, Devin. Nice shot, just the same. You miss that, you look at giving up three. Her out turn, good call by Nancy, and that's one of the reasons why she is holding the broom. I guess I should say brush. Well, when you look at their careers, considering 17 appearances for Colleen Jones at the Scott Tournament of Hearts, Gordy Nordby and her appearances in the Europeans, certainly considering the, the level of competition, uh, Colleen has had the, the greater success with her five championships, no other. Yeah. Yeah. Woman curler has yeah. won that many now. Got away with the jam. Now can they hold the shooter? And no, it'll spill out the side, and that's a break for Canada. Well, that's really, I mean, she got that going. It was on the line right away, and that's really a huge miss. I mean, we, we've talked about opportunities, and that was a golden opportunity. You can watch the four foot line on this, and you can see she's right there. And she jams it onto her own. She's hitting that to lie, too. And now she's going to be looking at two. Colleen playing the intern draw around the center guard. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen around this intern. What a difference. Yes, mine sure walked more than I thought it would. More ice, Nance. More ice, you say? More? More ice, please. Yeah, I want to be sure. That's good. Top four. Same way. Hard to believe she could want more ice. Look where that brush is now on the edge of the on the edge of the eight foot. Yeah, she's looking for line spine, five line, plus. Line, so for it's, line. It, it has changed line since spine, the first end. We can line. see it's really line's moving great. big where? time. Yeah. 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 Line's fine. Watch it yeah. go now. You can see it come gone. across the four foot line. Okay, we got yeah. it the way. Close to the center. Clean it. Top four. four. Clean it. It's four anyway. Whoa, deeper. Whoa. Right. Great shot. Look at that, and it does. It's buried. In fact, it even peeks out the other side That's just a little shot. bit. Back edge of the four. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Canada is lying too. And Hannah Woods says that's where we want it. Just put it right on the lid. Here's a good look at it. What do they say? Coming right into your living room. Final stone for Norway and Dorney Nordby here in six and drawing against a couple and right out of her hand. Haslam and Holt pick her up. Here comes Hannah Woods as well. Look at the time now. Boy, they're going to have to drag it and drag it a long way. As far as they can. And they'll get it to the top eight, and it is a steal of one for the Canadians. They'll lead it five to two. And it just has been the inconsistent play of Jordy Norby. Steal of one, so Canada now has stolen a couple of points. She came up a little five two. Looks good, but they put the slow Colleen down. Jones looking for a second straight win to start this year's Ford Worlds. And first stone comes in and sits just behind the T line, edge of the button. But uh, really, we've said it 
a couple of occasions now. Jordy Nordby, she wants to look at this game. Can oh, can't yeah. say she didn't have chance. Oh no, she's had all kinds. All kinds. I mean, the Canes are curling fairly well. You know, not spectacular. They're, everybody's struggling a little bit with this movement. There's so much movement out here. Um, it's still sliding. That's one thing Linda mentioned this afternoon, and, and she's absolutely right. Even with all this curl on the ice, it hasn't been slowing the stone up. It's not digging in, but that stone, you know, that corner guard just went sideways. Yeah, top 12. But I asked you this uh, in the men's, when we were covering the men's game, and your answer was, the, the amount of curl won't bother teams with experience. You have got you've got nobody more experienced than Doherty Nordby out here. No, but you you are seeing. You know, we're used to three and a half, four feet of curl and pretty consistent. This you know, started off at four, but it really is gone and really is moving big time now. And I still think though that the more experienced team is is going to have a little edge. But it brings a whole number new number of factors really into it. Really hard not to sweep those. Like I'm going well, okay. I tell you reading what. of the ice. Uh, you've got to have that exact okay. weight and when you still when you throw it up it's going to run a little straighter. You have to believe that. They've uh, they've turned on the vents because it's starting to uh, start to cool down where we are. So you're putting your coat on. I'm just putting on my uh, my jacket. I'm still in Brazil quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla Holt. Another very experienced curler in this uh, in this event this year, Marlena Kraus, with uh, playing third for Denmark, has been at 14 of these World Championships, and starting in 1980. So she's had some nice holidays throughout the years. It could. It's not in a great spot. No. <laughs> you know what? what? It really could jam into the house. Here, we'll take a look at it. She'd like to get it off of there, but it's they're worried about jamming it onto so the other red one. Really thin. If you hit it's like a real small piece. Just hit it high. It'll just over jam top. straight on the other one, right? Play it over top. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and if it jam jams, fair enough. Marianne Way. And she can throw it up a bit. Vic, she's got the capabilities of throwing some pretty solid weight. And that's what she's been asked to do right here. That's what they were afraid of. The jam jam. And now Norway with the hammer. Why did that all stay in there? Nine <laughs> shot stone. That's a great shot, actually. You might not know it. Once you got rid of it. Now there's there's something. Did you hear Colleen yell down? Just so Marianne understands, she threw she threw the stone well. Yeah, she did. She threw it hard too. need on this kind of an ice surface Vic, as you say that it's really warmed up here and now they're trying to cool it down a little bit but you must have rotation on the handle and the few of those I'll stones will be tight. thrown pretty flat the on the, uh, but I'll play it tight same way play it tight nice big crowd tonight They think they can uh, top the 250,000 people that saw the 91 yeah. World Championships yeah. here at the arena. The weekends, the finals, they say, are sold out. We've even seen some people on the one side where there's a, a balcony. 
They're up in the upper level. My understanding was just they're going to try to sell the lower bowl, but some people have gone way up. Trying to freeze to the rock on the side of the forefoot. This is where it really starts to go. Just a little light. Well, it's a fun city to live in, Vic, if you're a curler, because just everybody in this city knows curling and one time or another has curled or they curl and and uh, the crowd here very knowledgeable, know, they know the sport and they love the game. It's uh, you know, like Saskatoon, like Regina, like Calgary, like Edmonton. It's, curling is a very huge part of our our winters and our history. Yeah, you do. You sense that. I mean, you knew even stepping off the plane today. People are saying hello and nice to see you here finally, that kind of thing. Gonna play the raise, yeah. tap the redstone back. Thank you, man. On the eat. See, okay. Back eight foot. Yeah. Yeah. Now just tap it in between those stones, or would you tap it straight back and try to eliminate a stone? In well, the she's, house just, she's playing back eight foot away. So you, if you hit it on the nose, you'll push it yeah. right back onto the shot rock, and you will be covered. Yeah. Anna Woods. Yeah. Yep. Not a lot of rotation on this handle. Oh. If you take a look at it, Victor, you can see that it's hardly made one complete turn. And once again, a little bit light. Okay, I like I like doubling. Yeah. Looks like a really nice doubling. Okay, or hit and roll. Regular. Yep. Kim Kelly. Right out of her oh, hand. Yeah. Yes, she's saying. Hey. She has lots of rotation on the handle, so this will run a little truer. Good shot, Kim. Now those stones are overlapped as well. Stone in the forefoot is uh, almost three quarters open, if not totally, huh? Pretty close. Yeah, you should just See, tap it back like with the, uh, sit on the face I of it, move like it back a few inches. Exactly. Like yeah, come in. Yeah, come in. That's yeah. gone. It's gone already, this one. Yeah. Holt and Haslam trying to save yeah. it, and they can't. Just that little bit of a rub and roll has uh, covered that stone now by half. Can she get on in the intern? That's shot our friend here. now. She can't get shot. Look at that. Over here. No, that's a good point. Okay. So, so what about Canada sort of without here. the hammer yeah, lying here. three? Okay. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I do. Okay. Sitting. Well, we would be sitting two, two, uh, three. We should have made the third. But I guess if you come right in here, then that yeah. takes that away. I don't. I like either call Colleen if you wanted to guard that. But she's going to play this if you do that. Yes. Those. Are the, that's the devil she's talking here. about, right there. I wonder how easy that is to guard. I know. Good point. Actually, Nance, I could bump that. Couldn't I? And get the, the job angles. done. Yeah. Rearrange the angle. 
that's what she's saying. You get know, red under yellow. And then you might even get lucky and, you know, cut off that. What do you guys like? Um, Marianne likes the intern. We like the draw. Just come here for a sec. You know what? Right now, she, the thing she's is, got Kim, the she's got this hit and stick like. to lie double. second, third, she and does, fourth. But she can't get to shot. No, well, we know that. Matter, but if she did make this, yeah, she's, she's got second, now. third, and Do you fourth. want to guard it? The other thing she's well, thinking I'll is just tell you the a bit. shot I've got. I, mean, I know I've got the intern coming. I don't like coming. shuffling these because they, they're protecting that guy really well, right? The intern coming around. Well, this, this wouldn't go anywhere. If we, if we played a bump here just to get some separation here, the only, this is still going to be guarded. The only thing is, Marianne, if we, we open this, this nose, guy up at all, second, third, like, fourth. say we roll off him, I'm not crazy move that either, over that there. Shot. We arrange these two stones right here. What's because that? moving... Yeah, we talked about that too. So I remember before playing a bump and giving them a shot. You don't think shot. she's still going to play that smash? Even more so if we go top four over here. She can't get to them though. Yeah. See, right now, these two are protecting okay. that guy really well. And if we shuffle them, we may give her like it. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, Colleen. Yes, I do. Okay. I don't know that. I, I think Colleen's, I think Colleen's thought was right. The, this, this double is, is definitely there. Get rid of those two there. And hit this on the nose, this rock here on the nose. I really want this shot in. I don't mind if I... So you got to get this one in if you're going to go this way. I like it high, but make. Get, I want it in the house, and I don't. Do you like this shot? I don't want to leave her this raised double over here. Well then, don't leave her it. If you don't like this, play. Do something. You don't want to play. No, I don't mind. I don't mind this. I'm just saying, get it in the house, yeah. and make sure we're number uh, something three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're okay. number something. It's really going to well, Right now, long. you're already lying three. Top four. All right. Skip stones in the seventh. Lots of room. Clean. Eight foot's fine. Lots of room. Full eight. Eight foot's fine. Full eight. Deep. Tons of room. Full eight. Tons of room, guys. Top eight's fine. No double. There's a ton of weight there. T-line, 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 hurt. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. T-line, T-line, hurt, hurt, hurt. Okay, great nice weight, Colleen. Did she come off it? The hit and rolls there. Yeah, tucked a little bit, not much. She might also be, if she could throw enough weight, she could maybe remove three of the stones, the three yellow stones. With lots, of, you, you could certainly play the hit on this one, on this one here, and try and roll, roll in here. You could throw some weight at this here, that one there. Sorry, and hit this one on the nose. These are going to go, and this might come across here and move that one. Were you surprised at the lack of finish on that stone, or she just take too much ice? I mean, maybe go flipped, but I will go flipped. Yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> I thought it would curl a little more, Vic. I mean, she just maybe obviously took a little too much ice. Two are going. What's that? Hit that anywhere. Two are going. Yeah. Two are going for sure. I don't know what the angle is. It, it's going to do anything with the uh, four-foot stone. So she's going to play this, going to hit this on the nose, and these are going to go. We'll see what angle happens on that. Lit mindre. New lease. Less ice. Uh, she's had her chances. And a great opportunity here. Dorothy Nordby with her first. Light. Oh. With the big weight, it runs so straight. You get to the nose of that, I think that you're going to... Get all those rocks going. You had to get you had to get to the nose of that stone. She stayed on the hit it on the outside. So she'd gotten to the nose. This stone would have been moving this way. This was going this way. Hopefully it would catch the one that was there on the forefoot. We may have had them all moving. Mr. Nedwin would have had all those stones going someplace.
Christian is not through the chicken. Uh, she threw lots of weight. She just you could take right in the center of the rock. But she's I don't know what we do with that. Yeah, no, I'll just make, I, I think I've got to make... You can tell, she's yeah. a little frustrated, I think, with the way she's playing and the chances she's had. Another chance to get behind the center guards for Colleen Jones. This is walking sideways, whoa, this one. It's going nowhere. It it's on grab. the guard already. Whoa! I'm gonna try to chip whoa. this here to block her draw. Whoa! Whoa! She's thinking oh. I made the raise. I made a raise hard. He blocked a raise, now all she's got is the draw. I can't believe I threw that that bad. Uh, 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 so? Not much thought about this, is there? No, there's not much out there. You see the ice, she's taking edge of the 12 foot, so big time bend. <laughs> And it'll be a draw oh, yeah. against three. Is there a little? It's, not the bite, sir. I was gonna say, it's also getting a little stickier out here, I dare say. We did. We did. Yeah. We said not. Facing three with her last one, Doherty Nordby here in seven. She's already down oh, five, God. two. Hey, Sticker! Feel the thing! Body fact! Hey, Sticker! I love! Then we'll help with tea. Yeah, come in! Bolt and Haslam needs to a little bit more of the four than that, and she won't get it. She'll cut Canada down, but Jones and the Canadians will steal one more here in the seventh. now leads at 6-2 as they try to win their second on this opening day of the Ford Worlds. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships from Winnipeg, Manitoba are brought to you in part by Robaxaset, helping you walk away from back pain. Let's check in on the game between Sweden and Denmark as they play in the seventh. You see the Swedes are up 6-4. Sweden is Annette Norberg. The Danes skip by Dorte Holm from Copenhagen. And this is uh, not enough weight to angle it back. She trying to punch it through the hole here. Looks like she is, but she can't. And so that'll be a steal of one and two for Sweden. They now lead 8-4 over Denmark. 4-4, four, four. Japan and Italy as they play in the eighth. Switzerland, Scotland steals one in seventh, so it's a two-point lead for the Swiss in the eighth. Canada up by four. We updated that one for you, of course. And the USA and Russia little bit in a 4-4 four, four tie we can tell you as they play the but eight. if we jam it perfect they'll be you know the outcome. here at the arena in Winnipeg on this <laughs> opening day and Saturday night draw two for the women These player comparisons are brought to you by Nokia, the official wireless phone of the season of champions. Pretty nice numbers, Vic. Uh, both of Camila and Nancy having great games. Not a lot of hits, lots of draws, and obviously it's being made. Yep.
There, good sleeping. Good girl. It's really been a strange game. There's no question the ice really started to swing big time, and it's kind of, for a while, confused to everybody. Ah, we prøver to two. Eller vil dere ha en til? Ja, vi kan godt. Hva? The last draw of Dirty's was going to be yeah. interesting, too, because she had T-line yeah. weight, absolutely perfect weight, Vic. It just didn't grow. Well, remember earlier, there was that uh, Colleen Jones stone that came down, I think, the same path, and it didn't finish mm -hmm. either. There's a spot out there that's just running straighter than the other side of the ice. And it's all part of this game. Yeah. Well, you can see both, neither one of the seconds, Marianne certainly wouldn't be very happy uh, you know, with uh, her draws at 58% and hits at 75% for overall 71. That's well below her average, and then uh, obviously 55% is a number that you hate to see go up in there. Out there in a competition like this. It's not very often in a competition at this level that you're curling 71% and you're devouring your opposition second. Yeah, you're picking up your points. Yeah, it's a plus. for the rest of my life. That's not a bad thing, Kim. No. What's she referring to? Just the fact that she plays this intern so often? Well, she she likes to obviously throw from the outside in, and she's getting this inside out shot that she. You know, Linda and I have talked about that a lot. You know, we've had the, the three of us have had discussions about that. We think that yeah. sometimes when the ice gets. Uh, a little trickier, that inside out shot is safer. You know, we've seen a lot of rocks when you're playing from the outside in, especially when they run so straight with weight. Uh, make one small error and you just get no movement at all, so you eliminate the brushers. I think the inside out shot it always seems to me to be a little bit more movement, yeah. even, even on the big weight shot. So, yeah. I think we have a, t a tendency yeah. in this game to, to play too much yeah. outside in. Yeah. Yeah. Nord be out now to join Holt and Haslam. A pretty consistent of eight draws and six hits for Hannah, 78%. And five draws, nine hits for Kim. 81%, good numbers for Kim. Not bad. Gonna do the run back? I, I like, like the, the run back. back. Okay. It looks a bit like a nicer angle then. Down a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's got a top. Yeah. It's down. Okay. Whoa. Good call and a good shot by your third. Freeze. Hola. 
What do you want to do? You can get the hit and roll, but then you're right in behind them. They'll run them back on you. Yeah, I to the rock on the button. Freeze on that one. Nice of you to point that out. <laughs> Updating the U.S. and Russia. Final stone for Debbie McCormick and her team out of the Madison Curling Club. Makes the hit. That's for two, and that's why it says. Now let's just confirm that score. That should be 6 4. That's a 6 4 score, not 8 uh, 4. Earlier in that end, the Russian skip. The Try to jam a rock out, which was really impossible. Just showed a little inexperience again. And uh, instead of playing down to the face of it and forcing the Americans to do something with it, she tried to squeeze it out, didn't get it. So it opened the, the, the uh, end up, and the result was a hit for two for Debbie McCormick and a two point lead. You're absolutely right, Vic. It's 4 4 playing that end. Yep. 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 Root. Yeah. I think I'll play the out turn on it next. You can detect the frustration and the you know the voices and tone of the Norwegians. They mm -hmm. nothing has worked. And yeah. No matter what country you, you come from or what you speak, you can always kind of tell that, you know? We were just discussing what we... Yeah. a little over curl. Yeah. Just to cross the face a little bit, push it through. Avoid the jam. Colleen yeah. Jones and her first for Canada here Whoa. in the eighth. Whoa! Whoa! Clean it! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Off. Watch the jam, then. We're all right. Nice shot. Okay, good Got shot. away with it. Well, pretty good throw, but there. Nice shot. Watch that. Great shot. That was such a nice throw, Missy. Thank you. And that tells you a lot. A little surprised that uh, Colleen, well, going back in the early end, she did miss a couple of key draws, and you can see at 50%, she certainly wouldn't be happy with that, but hitting at 83%, low numbers for both skips, very low for Dirty Nardi. The chances, as we say, the chances have been there for Doherty to make something happen. No question. It may be a different game if she brings her numbers up with and with Colleen struggling as she has with her draws. But she's stolen three of her six points. And that wasn't a happy face. Dory Norby. Swept. 
<clears throat> Attempted to throw the out turn again. You heard Colleen say, I'm really tempted to throw the out turn again, but she's gone. She's gone to her intern. She'll play the hit on this. Got to get across the face. Ball. Even if you get rid of the stone in the forefoot, long as you don't throw it outside and jam it. So playing the hit, the intern hit. What? She loves that out turn. Why? She put it down beside yours. Okay. Det har spilt en rolig sten i hele tiden. No. I don't know which way you're going. Lass? 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 There, that's what you had. Good. You're just keeping an eye down here. Yes, actually she does that a lot. I don't think she meant to. She just kind of plunked it beside yours, so it ended up long. We're talking about where Nancy put the broom down. It was different than what where Colleen had put it. She put it down giving Colleen a little bit more ice than uh, certainly uh, Kim and Marianne felt was necessary and it's a good point that you know you can see that they're right in the game Vic they're alert they know what the ice is as well and so just drawing to Colleen's attention that Nancy had taken more than Colleen had asked for actually by error just but yeah. just uh, whoa, whoa. 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 final stone oh. for Jones yes. This will run very straight with that kind of weight. Good nice shot. But the action the is there. Lively house. The added weight. And so it'll be Gordy Nordby facing four with her last one. I didn't want to I, I didn't mind losing the back one. You just wanted to flip a little. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. It ran very straight in the beginning. Came a little bit at the end, just enough to get to, to get it, kill the back one. Perfect shot. Forces Doherty into a hit and roll to the forefoot for a single against four. Well, it's hard to throw wimpy at this Yeah, but if I had thrown just a little oh, yeah. less, I was getting the inside hook. You would, but, you know, it was a nice mm -hmm. throw. It wasn't it. You get the feeling, Vic, that, as I do, and I'm sure you do too, and Linda and I have talked about this, that you go back to three years, that this team just seems to get better and better and better each year. And, you know, they they work uh, they work so well together. They're oh, that's, that's what I was, well, I was just going to say that exactly. I, thought, that I think they're, they're understanding of yeah, each just... other, the game, what's needed. Yeah. Final yeah. stone. She's down by yeah. four, yeah. facing four. Doherty Norby, oh. her last here in eight. Yeah. 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 Ah. Needs yeah. a little hit and a little inside roll. Just like that, that's a saver for Norway. They'll get the single and eight. She can throw it up. And she threw this one with solid yeah. weight. They brushed it and then got off it and got back on it. And she gets the yeah. movement she requires. And they hold it on the line, a little bit of a roll. There's the single I'm point. Back. Once again, looking at four. Quickly go to the game between Switzerland and Scotland, and this is Selina Brolieu who throws the fourth stone for the Swiss champions, Nicole Strausak of Bern, playing Scotland and Edith Loudon from the Early White Ladies Curling Club in Perth. Look at that. Makes the run back, and that'll be a four on the board. And it's over. 10 for the final. Switzerland opens with two straight wins. The Scots have lost their first two. Meanwhile, Japan and Ayota from Hokkaido has stolen one and eight to take a lead on Gaspari of Italy. That's our first final here in the second draw. Norway keeps themselves alive against Canada with that hit and roll. 
Denmark gets one in the eighth. It trails Sweden by three. And the U.S., that's the two we showed you earlier, 6-4. They lead a Russian team from Moscow. long center guard and uh, Nancy tried the split and what happened was that she actually hit it on the nose pushed the guard in, into the rings and stayed in front and I saw Colleen run that one out of there live look at the USA and Russia and the Americans playing the Red Stones line two. so the final stone for Olga Yarkova and this is her third appearance for the 24-year-old out of the Muscovich Curling Club. This is a draw against two needs full eight foot. They were four and five. She was a skip Yarkova last year. And then in uh, 2001, playing for Nina Golovchenko, she was the third. They were two and seven. Managed to keep themselves going here, picking up the single. U.S. with the lead and the hammer coming home. If you remember correctly, last year she got off to a great start. I think she won her first three games and then just really uh, was just skipping experience that kind of changed some things because they played, they shoot very well. They were over here in the fall. They worked a little bit with Arnold Lash. And over here, it's still they need to play. They're very inexperienced, as are a few of these teams, but. The Swiss team, Vic, I had a chance to watch. They were here at the JVC Classic uh, Bondsfield that uh, Katie Sugihara and I put on, and along with JVC, and and uh, I watched them a few games. I was there for the whole weekend, and it, they're a very good team, very strong team. I have a good understanding of the of the game as well, and I've gone out of their way to uh, get the competition. I think over time we've seen that European teams in particular, and in fact, even in our country, you're going to have to travel a little bit just to uh, to see different situations, improve the competition. Doesn't matter if you're a team from the, from the East Coast, you're going to have to get into Central Ontario or even go west just to see something different. There's no question. You know, as the sport grows in the other countries, that's going to change. They'll be able to the competition. They'll have lots of teams. And, Boy, Hannah Woods with a nice draw there. The Masters, it's that time of year. First and second rounds. Next Thursday and Friday here on TSN. Well, it's golf weather somewhere in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not right here yet, and obviously not in Toronto. No. Man, man, man. no, no. And uh, tonight is also uh, the night we put the clocks ahead, except I guess in Saskatchewan where you don't do it. But everywhere else you put your clock spring forward by an hour. Curl enough. Okay. Throw board. board. Sure. Board. Yep. What do you have? I got almost half. Oh, 
Okay. Sir? I'm playing it tight, though, Kim. Okay. That's tight. comment by Colleen because it really wasn't the perfect weight for that shot. That? Yeah. It's one of those rocks if you overthrow it, it's not going to curl. If you underthrow it, it's going to come right across onto the guard. <laughs> Dorty Nordby in the first skip stone. Here in nine, she trails 6 3. Fine that thing. Diving at the center come guard, on, trying to get it around. Come here. Come here. Uh, I don't know. I think that's just a little Locked touch. In. Yep. 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 It definitely touched Vic. Sweden and Denmark I mentioned this is a rematch of their European Championship final, December in Grindelwald, that Sweden won. Well, watch for the double. And at Norbor, the final stone for Sweden. Yeah, we'll watch it. Rolls to the four foot for a single. Inch more. That makes it ten to five. And the Danes are talking about whether they should play on. That makes it nine five. Pardon me. In turn, hit for the Canadian skip. <laughs> uh, looking, uh, she mentioned trying to, you know, keep an eye on the double. That would be hitting it on the outside, driving it across. But an in turn roll will put you Ooh. behind the guard. Ooh. But not oh shot. That is something. Boy, they just feathered that guard, and now look at it. Yeah. It is buried. Yeah, Yeah. When it decides to go, it really goes. <laughs> Around that guard, that is the shot rock back there. So you can lie too by tucking it in behind those two front stones, the long red one. And Tight yellow. Once again, the brush was out middle of the 12. This is the spot, though. Remember, we saw a draw down here earlier. This is the one spot that isn't moving. A little hole, Matt. Uh, taking a little too much ice for this particular spot. That's a bit of a selfish attitude, wouldn't you think? Yeah, <laughs> you don't give them anything. <laughs> That's right. Take a one. So she's playing the hit for it's one, or is she going to try yeah. the double here for the there. for two? No, I think she's just playing the hit, hit for one. one. Looks like a lot, though, Skipper. The cross the ring double is there. This is a this is a uh, a straighter spot for sure. I don't know, 
stop him. I just saw that other one just really move. Okay. I think as soon as you see, she's taken ice middle of the 12 foot to exactly. try to get there. Nope, good. So she's picked up on it. A little straighter in this spot, maybe. Now she's afraid if the closer she gets to the center line, the, the more it's going to move. And she's right about that. But out here, it whoa. should run fairly true. Whoa, whoa. And fairly straight, oh. I think. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Good ice call. Great shot, Colleen. Well done. Nice For the single. Yeah. You're right. It came up. Yeah. And so we'll go to a. Ten. And the Canadian fans here at the arena in Winnipeg have reason to smile. Canada's up 7 3. The 2003 Ford World Curling Championships from Winnipeg, Manitoba are brought to you by Karcher. You'll look for things to clean. By Nokia, official wireless phone of the season of champions. And by Ford, built for life in Canada. Next up for Colleen Jones and her Canadian champions, Sunday at 2 Eastern Time. They'll just play once. They'll play against Denmark and Dorte home. Interesting to note, Malena Kraus, who plays for Denmark. This is her 14th appearance at the Worlds. Her first appearance was in 1980. That is uh, four years before her teammate, Denise DuPont, was even born. Just like you, your first briar, <laughs> your first briar was, I was just four years old when you were in your first briar. My first, my first briar was in 1972. Oh, oh but that, that was a lot older then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were only four. I was only four, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I know, Vic, is that Next year is a big year for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> and also for Honey, yeah. Linda. <laughs> it is too. You're yeah. right. Then we'll all be in our 50s. 50s. Okay. <laughs> you know, she was just about to fall off to sleep yeah. and heard you say that. <laughs> now she'll be up the whole night. Yeah. Of course, only one of us remembers this. <laughs> yep. Oh, dear. Three. Hard all the way. Canada in control. Right Whoa. Up by four. Seven three. Norway does shot, have the Ann. hammer. Very nice. Marianne Way. Nice shot. Yeah, you remember back to the Scott Turner Hearts. Marianne, you know, was suffering. She was sick a little bit, and she really wasn't herself we saw a lot of open misses and things that we never see from her by the end of the week that she really got it going and she's back uh, you know, she's back throwing it well and and uh, she has that ability to throw the up weight so she's an intricate part of this team as all four members they just are a good unit we talk about it with Furby and Medawin so it's uh, they'll be tough to beat this week this team they, they, they want very much to undo the what happened last year in Bismarck you were with us last weekend. You heard Colleen say, I, I just never Hard. felt the ice last year. And, and she was looking so forward right, to getting, getting to Winnipeg. Right. She actually said to me on Sunday at Scott, That's I said to her, Colleen, how do you stay so enthusiastic still after all these years? You know, Ray, I want to curl so badly in Winnipeg at that Worlds to kind of undo what happened last year. And here she is. Yep. But looking back on this, Clean. Clean. and we're, and we're giving her a win here. Yeah, yeah. Will, will, will she look back and say, I may have gotten away with one? Well, not because, really. Because Doherty, Doherty had her chances. Granted, I, I, I concede you that. She had lots of chances. But, I mean, you know, had she maybe made one of those uh, shots that had maybe given her two or three or something, you know, maybe Colleen would have you know, come up with a shot herself because it really should be defending her situation all along. But yeah, you, you do. You might say, well, we weren't as sharp as we should have been early and she didn't have chances, but they... They're looking, you know, it's early in the week. It's the first uh, first day, so they look pretty good to me, boy. They look like they're ready to go all week. They'll be very tough to beat. That's the one thing that, we, you know, we, we talked about earlier in the show, very, the very first end of the show, is that just how focused uh, Colleen is and yeah, how much work she's yeah, done with yeah. Ken. And pretty big deal. That's okay. Hurry. The other thing, Ray, and we've not talked about is <laughs> the length of time between, in particular for the, the women. Good, Tim. 
when you think when the Scott Tournament of Hearts was yeah, in good February, point. yeah, absolutely, to Vanguard to carry team, it over, man. yeah, because good point. you're not you're not bond spieling, you're not no. you're, you're practicing, you might play some club games uh, or look for some games. This year, though, you know, when the bar being in Halifax was an advantage to them. We saw them out there practicing, you know, and yep. calling so kindly on the Friday, brought uh, those beautiful lamps, uh, lobster sandwiches down mm -hmm. for the crew and all of us, which was just great of her. But they were out throwing rocks on arena ice, which was a, an advantage to them. Ball, getting ready to, to, to come here. And I think the bar being in Halifax was they had a chance to watch some pretty great play, some pretty great curling. And, you know, we do a lot of visualization. Uh, Linda talks about that all the time. And you can practice just by going over and over in your mind uh, the shots. And the skiers have proved that. Every sport's proved that. And after I had given her a little bit of a shot, she showed up with a cake for me. <laughs> Made me feel yep. like about two cents. Yep. Uh, Three. It's been great. Nice shot, Kim. Yep. Just a reminder as soon as we're uh, done here, Winnipeg will join the guys at Sports Center to caught up on. A busy week. Hey, I noticed uh, Glenn Natchik, the only one, uh, only Canadian to make the cut. I'm so happy you mentioned that. I was uh, not that I want Mike Weir to miss the no, cut. No, I mean, that's, yeah. that's his first. That's the first miss. That's the first one. The first turn. Mike, Mike Weir, yeah, yeah, missed the yeah. cut. But Natchik's the only Canadian to survive at the uh, the Bell South, I guess it's called. He's a little behind in in what he wanted to be. Obviously, he hasn't made a lot of money, but he's made the last three cuts in a row. I think he's only missed one cut, but. Uh, I don't know what he shot today. I haven't seen the results. Well, I you'll was, get that on Sports Center, of course. Of course, you, we will. I was working on the percentages in between the, <laughs> the draw. Yes, you were. As, Two mm -hmm. Keep forgetting items. That's the super item. Oh, it's It's Clean. Clean all the way up. Great throw, Colleen. pick up one more point they'll win it 8-3 the final and that's a great start Colleen Jones wins two in a row on this opening day at the Ford Worlds hi I'm Scott Pfeiffer watch us tomorrow on TSN you know what? We're going to be watching from bed because <laughs> Kathy Gochi and John Wells will bring it to you. Randy Furby will play Paul Trulson in a rematch of last year's final from Bismarck. Now on behalf of Ray and Linda and our entire crew, thanks for joining us here at the Ford Worlds on TSN Canada Sports Leader.